look at this particular module this is a simple module it is actually inspired by the book the ci book what actually happens that we have got an array of 11 students and what we are going to do is we are hello what we are going to do is uh, we are updating this particular array and we are treating this array as hashing algorithm so every time there is a new value coming in which is uh, integer value we are calling insert hash function with the record key value so this is just enter record key and you have got that record key this is key value insert hash function when called that record key is received in this parameter record key then hash function is called this hash function is based on this modular division hash function is called with the upper bound this hash function what you, what it does it receive the key value in the maximum position in the array and key value is then mod with maximum position plus 1 maximum position is 10 but actual number of values that we have in the array is 11 it calculates index position that index position is returned to the hash function sorry insert hash function in the hash key now this is our hash key now there is a chance that the hash key that is generated is already having a value stored at that array location so you heard that there was one method called bucketing in bucketing what happens that when it is hitting a position and at that position there is always a record saved from that position onwards in linear way it finds out which is the next available position and at that next available position it inserts the record empty position so since this is an array of integers it would have all zeros filled in so the check is while a student array hash key is not equal to 0 if that location does not have one value already placed it would not have zero there it would have actually the value so if it is a zero it is not equal to zero if it is a value means it is a clash so if it is a value which is not equal to zero hash key will increase by one automatically let's say if it hits 5 and 5 has a value it would become 6 and in any case if it goes beyond 10 because the value of the array is from so sorry the locations of array are from 0 to 10 if it is greater than 10 it means it has to go back to the first location which is 0 so this would go on until it finds one location when empty location where it can insert the value once the loop is done it gets out and at that hash which is updated the record key is placed if the hash table is full it would not be because this loop keeps it in limits 0 to 10 it will never get full so you enter 10 values 10 values will be filled in so while not zero enough because i am enough while while the array while
while a student array hash key is not equal to zero. No, it will not keep searching. You would have 11 zeros filled and 11 values to fill. Okay. Whenever the 12th value would come, it will not call it because that will be out of the loop then. All right. It will keep searching when you would have more than 11 values and all